Hello YouTube, and today we're diving right into the news. So I decided I'm going to make a part two to this video while I'm playing Adventure Cancerous, uh, one of the most cancerous games. I don't see why the hell they added this to PlayStation. Cause I, I I'm just gonna add gameplay to it. Cause, uh, why the fuck not? So I'm gonna tell you five things about Daniel Kim, which. Most is scripted, so uh, please excuse me. I'm not that good at reading my scripts right now. I'm still getting used to trying to do this instead of speaking off my mind freely. Let's hit, get right into the news. Uh, number fact number one about him is he's known for his streams where he will s call s police and get SWATs on a lot of YouTubers. So it's illegal. He does it over and over again. And one of the people that I can name off the top of my head that he's done that to is Smile for YouTube. I know he's done it to a lot of others, but that's one I can name off the top of my head. Now, fact number two, he's also known for making a six-year-old named Tommy, I think, who is a streamer who would stream... I don't even know that held... I don't even know the name of that game. Or He made him cry by calling him a pedophile. And then he tried to bribe Tommy by just saying how he was going to give him money. And Tommy refused and got off line and stopped streaming. I don't know if he stopped streaming forever or I don't know what's up. Alongside that, he also has done things to two other YouTubers. I think one's basher he would he called him a rapist i think he's called repeatedly calls people rapists and pet pedophiles which keem sir you're an asshole for that you can really ruin someone's life like that now number three this is one of the ones i say pisses me off the absolute most he would constantly use the victim card when he's under heat on twitter or any other social media that he uses and when people call him out, he acts like they're the ones in the wrong, which really pisses me off. And he, we, everyone knows he does it, but he still does. I don't know if his nine-year-old fanboys know that he's lying or not. I don't know. Now let's go into number four. He used to be a troll on Xbox playing a game called Halo 3 or 2. I don't know specifically which one it is. But basically, when he was playing one day, he was raging hard, and this troll recorded it, and they partnered up, and they made a group called FAG, which stands for Federation of Asshole Gamers. Uh, they got banned off of YouTube, alongside with, he is being console banned from every Xbox that he owned. I don't know if he still plays Halo, or any of those games, or not. I'm not positive on that. Now, number five... He admits to not caring about his fans, and he hopes they all die by cancer. And let me speak freely off the top of my head. I spoke freely in little parts of this where I felt I needed to correct myself, but he would admit in live streams that he doesn't care about his fans. He says they were quote-unquote games that he plays with his subscribers, but I don't think a game where you say you hope all of your nine-year-old fans die by cancer is something that they want to hear. Now, I don't know about me, but I mean, I don't know about them either. I mean, they must be some really messed up kids if they like hearing that they're going to die by cancer. Now, if we keep, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, and if this gets at least 10 views and at least one or so like likes, I will end up making a, a lot more rants, because it seems that those are getting a lot more attention on my YouTube channel. So, 